Hey, welcome everyone. This is Mike from ZozoStockWatch.com and this is your stock watch list for Monday, the 26th of March. March. Don't forget, we only have a four-day trading week this week. Friday, the markets are closed for Good Friday, so there'll be no trading, no markets open this coming Friday. So we have a four-day week coming up. All right, let's get and get into uh, the spy, just the spy a little bit. Uh, in case you missed my previous video, um, I'll attach it to the end of this video, but where we go more in depth. But basically, on that video, I was talking about how the spy has come down to the 200 SMA. Quite a few days of selling here. We have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, about nine days down uh, on the spy, and also our RSI on the daily chart here. Uh, getting down to below around that 30 on the uh, RSI 14. So, uh, you know, you would think that there's going to be some kind of like quick bounce back uh, in the markets, but that could come from anywhere. Uh, most folks are hanging their hat, kind of saying that we have those lows down in February of 252.92. Uh, so we could see the SPY or the markets uh, push down, gap down uh, in the morning, and then maybe we get a reversal type thing in the afternoon or just a turnaround type of Tuesday. Uh, if you want to see what the futures are doing tonight, all right, at 6 o'clock Eastern time, all right, you can go to uh, investing.com. I'll put this link down in the uh, description for you and uh, you can check the futures they'll start trading at about six o'clock uh, at night eastern time uh, tonight sunday night uh, so uh, just go to this link and that will uh, show you what the futures are doing throughout the night uh, they're real time so if you want to keep an eye on that uh, let's get in. We'll get into the watch list in a couple of different uh, scenarios, right? Um, so let's say they gap the market up. Maybe something uh, happens over Sunday night where the markets uh, are moving up. Uh, then basically what I would do is look for some of the stronger uh, names in the smaller caps, okay? So uh, like uh, you had uh, Cali, C-A-L-I, uh, very strong on Friday. A lot of nice volume came into that one. Uh, you have another small stock, C-D-N-A, uh, holding up very well. Uh, C-E-T-X, uh, nice volume that came into this stock on Friday. Uh, CVRS, a small name, uh, about under a million shares, but uh, holding up nicely and uh, getting some buying on Friday. CVRS, medical device company. Uh, another one that you can watch, smaller one is D. SS nice pop 3.8 million shares now I can't give you you know exact numbers but you know we'll see if these set up on an intraday basis uh, on Monday morning and uh, you know the logical number here is maybe over like the highs uh, from Friday uh, over 195 for the two dollar break depending on you know how everything opens or maybe if it just gets over that dollar 75 so we'll have to watch them on some charts uh, some other smaller names you know GERN uh, it's been been very strong even more buying came in on Friday you know a little bit a couple of topping uh, candles here to be expected but intraday it gave us actually a nice trade on Friday so uh, this one will be on watch uh, LPTX uh, big expanding of uh, volume here on Friday on LPTX a biotech name uh, kind of basing under this nine dollar area the high on Friday was uh, 895 so keep an eye on that one uh, Luna was very strong on Friday a little bit light in the volume about 500,000 shares uh, but was very strong on uh, the last few days uh, while the markets were moving down uh, LUNA was moving up so if there's any type of maybe pullback in this or a red to green uh, that one might be interesting uh, mags uh, shaping up here uh, but very light in the volume only 51,000 shares but uh, this is that Israeli uh, security and protection uh, services company uh, so maybe if this gets over 6605 area uh, on MAGS keep an eye on that uh, MBII held up very nicely on Friday but once again low volume but uh, it's been holding pretty strong during all this market sell-off MBII keep an eye on that another smaller name 
Uh, NFEC, a uh, nice pop, volume 7.3 million shares. You see here on uh, Monday the 19th, we had that big push up to $3.50. Uh, and then Friday, we had a nice move also. Uh, so maybe this one might want to give an intraday uh, TEUM. A chart that's holding up well all right 3.1 million shares uh, so you know maybe this one wants to make a further move if it can uh, you know hold up or maybe you get kind of a red to green pullback play on uh, Monday depending on how the market's gonna open up now some other things that you might want to have on your watch uh, you know gold stocks have been making a move you had uh, NEM making a nice move uh, Newmont mining uh, the stock starting to turn back up trying to get up over a 39 area so possible you know swing trade in a gold name like this or uh, GG was also another gold play that was uh, turning up on Friday 10 million shares uh, came into this gold stock possible break of the highs from Friday 1405 area on a GG so that might be one you want to watch for a possible uh, swing trade in that name or an intraday play uh, depending on your style uh, Another name that held up well is uh, Momo, M-O-M-O, -O. Uh, this stock uh, basing under $39 and $40 area on M-O-M-O, -O. so uh, relative strength here on Momo. Uh, another name that's pretty strong, P-A-G-S, a recent uh, IPO uh, software infrastructure. Now, it's had a nice run from about 28 all the way up to uh, 35, but held up very well on a Friday 1.6 million shares buyers stepped in here uh, and it is basing under this 36 number here so PAGS a recent IPO keep an eye on that if you're looking for a trade uh, Tahoe back to a smaller name T-A-H-O, a nice turn up here and, uh, you know, 2.7 million shares holding the 20, holding above the fast moving averages. Uh, you know, it looks like it might be ready to, you know, come out of this consolidation. You have that $5 uh, number up above. The only thing is you have this 200 uh, SMA up above also. Uh, some other things I'll be watching uh, on uh, Monday and the week ahead to see how this market plays out. You know, you have to have a volatility uh, play on watch uh, on Monday and the next few days or the weeks if the market's going to stay like this you know Tivix has been giving very nice intraday moves all right TVIX so uh, this one will be on our radar or an inverse like uh, TZA uh, could possibly uh, make a continuation move this is an inverse on the IWM if the IWM should keep continue to move down uh, the TZA will move up so have a couple of inverses or a volatility play uh, another one is actually a play on the China markets uh, with the tariffs and whatnot going on with uh, President Trump and China uh, so if the China markets move down uh, this uh, play uh, will move up all right Y a n g uh, you see the volume that's been coming into it over the course of the last two days uh, so making a move up here Y a n g all right so there's a couple so Tivix TZA Y a n g and of course SPXU another uh, inverse that you might want to keep an eye on SDS also another Another inverse uh, if the markets continue to move down these will move up uh, if the market does uh, move back up you have the SSO uh, if you want you can uh, look for spots on this if you get long this basically that would mean the spy is turning back up so there's a lot of different options uh, for for trading uh, the next few days we'll have to see how it plays out uh, another small one that was getting a nice uh, movement on Friday was the ZFGN a biotech name uh, not a lot of volume but but we did get a nice uh, pop here we're holding around the 50 SMA on ZFGN uh, we traded uh, DBX on Friday uh, as it got up over this uh, 29.50, 29.60 area, and uh, we rode this thing all the way up to uh, 31.50. So DBX uh, looks interesting uh, for plays either you know Monday or next week sometime. Uh, FL uh, Footlocker. 
This had unusual call activity in it on uh, Friday, so this will be on watch. Uh, decent volume came into it, uh, 5 million shares. So keep a footlock or possible swing trade uh, in this name. Uh, Nike uh, had very good earnings. Uh, that stock sold off uh, with the market, but uh, footlocker uh, actually held up pretty well here. So uh, keep your eye on footlocker, possible swing trade or intraday trade uh, on F uh, SN Sanchez Energy Corporation. Uh, turning the corner here, coming up 3.2 million shares, starting to round back up. We do have that 350 number up ahead. The high on Friday was $3.42, so keep an eye on that one if you're looking for an oil play. A name uh, that we're already in is Conoco Phillips. Uh, so we're in this from uh, actually we got in this one on uh, Thursday. Right, no, Wednesday, excuse me. We got in this one on the 21st, Wednesday, uh, and it moved up nicely and continued to move up on Friday. You see the volume coming in on ConocoPhillips. So full, you know, keep an eye on some of these oil names as uh, USO had a very strong week last week. It was up uh, 6%, uh, XOIL. Uh, light sweet crude oil uh, made a nice move up six n and uh, that one turning up and turning the corner bounces uh, in Apple uh, Microsoft uh, also you know to see if those want to turn back around uh, Intel uh, some of these the bigger names uh, mu micron that just had their earnings come out they had very good earnings uh, so you want to keep it might want to keep an eye on uh, micron uh, if you can play a bigger name keep an eye on Nvidia if they decide to turn that one back up. Uh, ANF, all right, Abercrombie and Fitch. So this one was holding up through all that selling, uh, basing under that 24 spot on uh, Abercrombie and Fitch. A small one, uh, AKER, uh, still basing under this uh, 85 cent level, smaller name. It's been coming up uh, off the lows, now been basing under this 85 cent, 86 cent area. AKER might be be one to watch if you're looking for uh, some uh, smaller names under one dollar that's about the best one I saw uh, another oil name EC uh, oil and gas name uh, the high on Friday on this oil and gas name was nine nineteen dollars and twenty two cents uh, so 1.8 million shares so watch this one if it can take out maybe 1925 possible swing trade uh, in this uh, name I believe this is an Italian uh, company uh, on uh, this oil name this is an italian company but uh holding up pretty strong so keep an eye on that one if you're looking for an oil name uh another one you might want to look for an oil name holding uh, around the 50 sma probably needs to get back over you know that 25 dollar mark on io so that one might be interesting uh oxy i think last week had some uh, options activity in it uh, unusual call activity so keep an eye on this one uh maybe it wants to turn the corner oxy i think oil uh is a place to go if you're looking for some swing trades um or you can go with some gold stocks gg nem or you can go with the uh, gdx itself all right uh there's the gold miner gdxj all right, not looking uh, as good, but trying to get back over, you know, that 33 spot and the 200 SMA. So maybe the uh, junior gold miners want to make a move for you. Another couple of ideas for you here. PAAS, uh, you know, flight to safety kind of names, uh, needs to get up over the 200 SMA. WPM uh, just had earnings. I believe it was Friday. Their earnings came out. It did get up over the 200 SMA on the earnings pop. Uh, so keep an eye on this one, flight to safety kind of type of names on uh, wheat and precious metals all right WPM all right so that's some of the names I'm going to be watching uh, for next week gave you kind of a mixture of small ones uh, some larger names and like I said you know, maybe we get a turnaround on Tuesday. The market is uh, a little bit oversold now with those quite a few days down in a row. We are coming up to the 200. Uh, maybe Monday morning we gap down to test the uh, February lows. And then you can kind of, you know, pick some of your favorites, right? You can get Micron or Apple uh, and uh, possibly get a nice bounce in some of these names or an Intel or a Microsoft, something like that. How they open those futures uh, tonight. Uh, don't forget Get the futures open up at six o'clock tonight this is the uh, link uh, for the futures I'll put it down in the my description box there uh, so if you want to follow and see what the action
action is in the futures for tonight. And um, that's about it. All right. I hope everybody has a safe week ahead. Don't forget, it's a four-day uh, market week this week with the markets closed on Friday. Good Friday week trading, and we'll see you on YouTube. Have a great night. And a good day trading Monday.